Hello students, I am Mr. Sandeep here. In our subject Advanced Manufacturing Processes, uh, we have started the discussion on various processes based on thermal energy involved. Right? So in the principle of various processes, one thing remains common and that is the energy involved. That is thermal energy. It means here heat is generated and with help of the heat generation, you can melt your metal or say other words, we can cut our metal. That is our final purpose in machining, right? So in previous session, we have discussed laser beam machining, electron beam machining also, right? So in thermal energy involved processes, laser beam machining is very important in which with help of laser, heat is generated. So our purpose is to generate the heat. So in today's session, we are going to discuss on the process that is also based on thermal energy involved and this process is PAM that is plasma arc machining. So in the plasma arc machining process, heat is generated with help of plasma. So first of all, uh, we are trying to understand what do you mean by plasma and how can we develop or generate the plasma in the process. So short form is a PAM and this process is nothing but plasma arc machining and in this process heat is generated by generation of plasma. So what do you mean by plasma? Let us try to understand what do you mean by plasma. So here I mentioned the principle for plasma generation. So as we all know there are three states or say three metal states that is solid, liquid and gas. So what happens when you apply the high temperature or in other words when gas is heated, the plasma is generated. So actually what happens when we give the heat to the liquid, it will be converted to the gas. And it is very simple, when we apply the heat to the solid, it will be converted in the liquid. As the same, when we apply the extra or more heat in gaseous state itself, what happens? So when we apply the heat to the gas, at the higher temperature, for example, here I mentioned the temperature limit that is in terms of thousands of degrees. So for example, uh, we uh, apply the heat also when we heat up the gas at the 15,000 degrees Celsius or say even more than that, that is 20,000 or 30,000 degrees Celsius, what happens? This gas will be ionized. It means uh, this, this gas will be converted into the electrons and ions. So this phenomena is known as ionization. It means your gas is ionized with help of this high elevated temperature. So once again I repeat, when we or so when you heat up the gas at very elevated temperature like 20,000 degree or more than that what happens your gas will be ionized and your gas will be converted into the electrons and ions right so this is nothing but the plasma state so plasma is considered as a fourth state that is uh, along with the solid liquid and gas and you can also consider the plasma as a fourth state so when you heat up the gas Plasma can be generated and at this high temperature or say this plasma can work as a heat source. Right? So with this principle uh, we, we are looking forward for the plasma arc machining. Right? So with help of this plasma arc we can do the machining and that is our principle of this plasma arc machining. So here I mentioned the construction setup for the plasma arc machining. As per our principle here, arc or say plasma will be generated. So here, first of all, you have to provide one electrode that is generally made of tungsten. So tungsten electrode is provided as per uh, this image of or say as per the construction detail. So tungsten electrode is that you have to provide the DC supply in voltage around 200 or 300 voltage. So you have to provide the DC voltage supply. So tungsten electrode is connected with the cathode and another thing is connected with the anode. So here 
a nozzle is there so nozzle is provided in which there will be flowing of gases and from this gases we can generate the plasma state as per our discussion so generally hydrogen or nitrogen can be provided for the plasma generation so here i mentioned in this setup nozzle is provided tungsten electrode is there and you have to provide the voltage or say potential difference uh, that is around 200 or 300 voltage so here as per our discussion tungsten is connected with the cathode and here generally your nozzle lower end is connected with the anode so nozzle works as an anode and your cathode is your tungsten electrode so when you supply the gases what happens due to this arc generation what happens here high heat is generated and due to this high heat your gas will be ionized and this plasma will strike on the workpiece in form of jack right so this is how uh, this plasma arc machining is done right so here i mentioned construction details as per our discussion so here uh, when we are talking about the working of this plasma arc machining as per our discussion when you provide the voltage what happens there will be a arc strike and due to this arc your gas will be ionized and this plasma state gas or this plasma will strike on the workpiece in form of jack right so this is how generally plasma arc machining can be done right so due to this high heat generated your machining or say your workpiece can be melted and machining can be done so just remember the temperature limit that is around 15,000 or say 20,000 degree Celsius or even more than that, right? So at this high temperature, plasma state comes into picture. So here I mentioned the various gases generally used in plasma generation. It means in this setup, you can provide the various types of gases. So generally hydrogen and nitrogen or some mixture of the inert gases can be used so argon and hydrogen mixture can be used for generally steel setup or say for the machining of steel workpiece you can go for the argon and hydrogen mixture so here i mentioned the various gases you can use for plasma generation so uh, there are generally two types of methods or two types of torches are used in plasma arc machining that is direct or say transfer and indirect or say non transferred arc type so generally two types of torches as per the name in the direct torch or say in the direct transfer or say transfer arc type torch what happens here direct name is suggest or direct name shows that here workpiece is connected with your anode and your tungsten electrode is connected with the cathode right so that's why it is known as a direct due to this direct power supply between workpiece and your tungsten so here what happens your workpiece is connected with the anode and your tungsten electrode is connected with the cathode so here what happens due to this large distance between your tungsten electrode and your workpiece you cannot strike the arc directly so for that you have to generate the secondary arc between your tungsten electrode and your nozzle and after that this arc will be transferred to the workpiece or say due to this plasma generation you can strike the plasma or arc and you can generate the heat so this is the direct or say direct torch type uh, that is plasma arc machining right and indirect torch type plasma arc machining so here i mentioned the direct torch or say transfer arc type machining right in which arc is transferred so first of all the arc will be generated from tungsten to nozzle and after nozzle to the workpiece you can transfer the arc or say plasma state right so here i mentioned the description of direct arc plasma torch as per our discussion arc can be transferred what happens in indirect torch plasma arc machining so here i mentioned the construction or say difference between both so here what happens your nozzle and is connected with the anode that is nozzle and is connected and here tungsten electrode is connected with the cathode right so here instead of workpiece your nozzle and is connected with the anode so when you switch on the supply what happens there will be arc transfer and due to this 
high pressure of the gas it will be converted into plasma due to high temperature and this gas or plasma state will will be striked on your workpiece due to the nozzle construction right so your plasma will be flowing out through the nozzle due to high velocity and strike on the workpiece so this is how non transfer arc or say indirect arc plasma torch works right so uh, this is all about the plasma arc machining that is based on thermal energy so here uh, i uh, mention the advantages or main points regarding plasma arc machining so here you can go for any metal for or say you can choose this machining for any metal here cutting rate is very high because with help of plasma very high bundle of heat is transferred to the workpiece so your material removal rate or cutting rates are generally high in case of plasma arc machining right so very difficult or some very hard workpiece can be easily machined with help of this plasma arc machining so at the same time here i mentioned the limitations so here the main problem is due to this plasma tapered surface can be generated it means there will be chances that uh, this machining will produce the tapered surface not the flat surface right so you have to do some finishing after uh, using the plasma arc machining right so here also the initial costing is very high so here i mentioned the initial costing point also and here noise generation is comparatively high as compared to other process due to this plasma generation noise generation is there so you have to consider this limitations for the plasma arc machining so this is all about the thermal energy based process that is plasma generation or plasma arc machining thank you all of you